All right, well, today is uh, April the 18th, 2022, Monday, and this is a part two update uh, for the uh, West Coast. Um, right now we're looking at the uh, long wave infrared map, and uh, this is the tropical pineapple express flow I was referring to in the uh, previous video today. We uh, showed the skies here in Southern California. Now, right about this time, this is early in the morning, right about right here, and so we started seeing uh, this moisture moving in, and I, I didn't, I haven't posted anything on the channel for two and a half weeks, but uh, we saw the skies today. It should be raining right now at uh, 9, 10 p.m. here on the uh, west coast. And so we see this Pineapple Express originating far south of the uh, Hawaiian Islands, and this is all moving right in to uh, California. But notice what's happening right here in Southern California as this moisture approaches the land. It just it just disappears. I mean, it's being evaporated by these WSR88D transmitters, which are not only on the uh, mainland of California, but they're all also positioned on uh, some of these Channel Islands. If you look at on uh, Google Earth, you'll see that on San Clemente Island, there's a bunch of these uh, radomes uh, positioned around the island, and it's very likely that some of this uh, uh, same technology that we're uh, seeing with the uh, <clears throat> with the WSR-88Ds is also being implemented out on those Channel Islands. We also know it that uh, at uh, Pillar Point up in uh, Central California, Pillar Point, which is an Air Force uh, installation near a, a popular surf uh, area named Mavericks. There's a, uh, a bunch of these uh, radomes which are housing uh, the same type of uh, microwave uh, phased array uh, and uh, also parabolic type beamed uh, microwave uh, high energy uh, RF to uh, evaporate the incoming moisture. And that's what we're seeing right, right here. Things are just sort of uh, evaporating as this is moving in. Now the uh, barometric pressure has dropped uh, just since uh, I, I've been home here um, tonight. It's uh, dropped to 29.89 inches. We were at 29.92 a couple of hours ago, and this morning it was 29.97. So the pressure is dropping a little bit. Uh, but uh, as I say, it's, it should have been raining all day long. We should have had rain all day long from this uh, Pineapple Express moisture field moving right in. And uh, the only rain that we're seeing in California right now is coming from this uh, North Pacific uh, sourced uh, moisture. And look at the right angle here. Look at that. That is really something. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, <clears throat> at the Doppler map right now. And we you can see that the uh, the Chico transmitter right here, this WSR88D, is uh, evaporating moisture in this. Uh, in the precipitation that's moving in off the Pacific, and we can see these pie-shaped cutouts. Now this is refreshed a couple of times, but here a few minutes ago we had a pretty good uh, sweep showing all the uh, the cutouts. That transmitter, by the way, in uh, Chico is uh, got an FCC call sign of uh, K KB. Let me get this right. I got a little light here. Let's hang on a sec. That is KBHX. That's in. Uh, pardon me. That's not right. Let's try that again. KHNX. That's in Orville. Okay, that's the KHNX transmitter in uh, Oroville. Now, if we go up to, uh, uh, well, I'll show those pictures later. This is a live uh, Doppler map. I, I'm going to uh, show some uh, photos, rather screenshots I took earlier uh, in the uh, afternoon showing how these... Uh, WSR88Ds are systematically causing drought conditions in drought-stricken uh, areas of the West Coast. Now we know there's a drought going on in Washington State, and here's evidence of, of why that's happening. Here we have the Camano Island transmitter, which is in uh, Washington State. And let me <clears throat> let me flip through real quick to. Uh, So it looks like uh, the Seattle-Tacoma transmitter, they call it, is KATX. And that is uh, this transmitter here, which is actually located on Camano Island, which I think is right right about where the uh, 
the tip of the pin is right here in this area. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I believe that's where that is. Um, we'll have to uh, double check that. And then there's a Spokane transmitter, which is uh, not operational. That's over on the east side of the state. All right, so we can see uh, how these WSR80Ds are operating. Nobody's reporting uh, what they're uh, actually doing. Here we see the Abbotsford uh, transmitter right here is uh, busy chopping up the snow and rain in that area. So this is how the deep state players uh, create manufactured drought conditions. And we know there's a gambling operation. I've mentioned this a thousand times, but people need to start waking up. There's a gambling operation going on in Wall Street. It has to do with controlling the weather and also betting on uh, catastrophic events happening, floods, and all that. And so you can bet, uh, you, you know, if you uh, are running a city, you can, you can buy insurance in case uh, your city is hit with uh, a hurricane. Of course, that hurricane has to uh, meet certain requirements. It has to be uh, below a certain barometric pressure in order for the contract to pay out. Now, we know that the weather controllers are... are uh, very skilled at uh, managing the pressure in these hurricanes. That's uh, been going on for years. And this is how they sucker these uh, comp these uh, companies, I say companies and their cities and states into uh, buying into this scam. They don't realize that the pressure of weather systems can be easily managed with these satellite transmitters and also the ground-based transmitters. Uh, the satellite transmitters are used to manage the pressure up at the 300 millibar level and also the 500 millibar level. And these uh, ground-based transmitters are working at the 0 to 18,000 foot uh, range, typically. So we see the con the uh, they work in con uh, conjunction with each other along with the jets. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that Southern California right here is not getting any rain whatsoever. We see some green uh, out here offshore. None of this is going to reach inland. Now, what's really amazing is just in the last couple of hours, the weather.com app on the one of the phones here um, is now indicating rain in about 39 or 38 minutes from now in uh, the uh, area of uh, L.A. And so we may... They may uh, toss us some peanuts, that is the weather controllers, and uh, get us some rain. But clearly you can see here, most of Central and Southern California is not getting any any precipitation. Now let's go back to the map here, and we can see the, uh, the, the water vapor map. Look at this. This is a massive tropical uh, flow pattern right into uh, Southern California. So that should be delivering a lot of rain all day long. Cool temperatures and a lot of rain. And we wouldn't have a drought if we didn't have these tariffs controlling our weather. Let's just be clear about that. Now look at the, uh, also you can see that there's a separation here. This is being maintained. This only really happens on the west coast. Uh, we've been watching uh, several for several weeks how the uh, deep state will run this tropical field up through Baja and up through Texas and through the, uh, the lower Midwest and out and, and we see these horrific storms, and uh, none of the WSR-88Ds are, are active, and so we see a lot of severe thunderstorms and hail and all the rest of it. And, uh, and of course, uh, they're not, uh, <clears throat> the weather controllers are not providing this uh, <clears throat> satellite-generated uh, <clears throat> blockade, pardon me, from, uh, you know, in order to separate this tropical flow from the colder North Pacific, which is what's happening here. That's being allowed to merge over here on the East Coast. But out here, we always see the barrier, the electronic fence, I call it, because it prevents this uh, warmer uh, tropical moisture from <clears throat> merging with the uh, colder <clears throat> North Pacific uh, weather. Okay, so that's how that works. Here in the long wave IR, once again, we see all that moisture plowing into uh, Central and Southern California with no precipitation results, and that's, uh, you know, the result of the skies being sprayed by the specially equipped jets and the use of the ground-based WSR-88Ds. Okay, so 
Uh, the MODIS Today map for today, that's the color satellite map. And we have a portion of this. Uh, we see we've got a split right down the center of that picture. They splice two of these photos together. This side of the photo shows basically nothing going on in terms of the aerosol spraying campaign. But uh, there, is a, there is some evidence in this photo. Right here we can see uh, some uh, gray streaks up in this area and, and some of that gray crap right here. Now as we <clears throat> pan offshore, we can see much more of what's been happening here. This is uh, also the same day today. We see the streaks and the haze all through uh, this uh, incoming moisture, which should be dropping a lot of, or rather generating a lot of uh, rain for Southern California, which is a drought-stricken area, by the way. This, all this drought is completely manufactured. The people in the uh, California Res uh, Resor uh, Water Resources Board, these people are, 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 are uh, just out to lunch. They're blind. They don't know what's going on. And uh, that's a real problem. There's too many people in the country that are just so uninformed and they're just sleepwalking uh, through life and they don't realize that things are happening right under their noses, right over their heads. Look at here, we can see these streaks. They're running, it looks like a tic-tac-toe board. It looks like graph paper. Okay. Look at this, it's a mess. Okay, you get the idea. So here we are. This is the map. And uh, once again, we've uh, been gypped out of probably a couple of inches of rain. This kind of uh, tropical rain is a fine kind of a rain. It's uh, The drops are not not very big. Uh, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a kind of a nice warm rain, uh, you know, and, and, and uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's, 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 it's not bad. I don't mind tropical rain whatsoever. It's, it's pretty nice stuff. And I wish we had more of it, but uh, we'll see what happens. Once again, we have a, a rain forecast that popped up on the weather.com app on one of the phones, and uh, we'll see what happens. So that's the extent of the, uh, of the report we can see here. This is the continental U.S. Uh, right here, there was some uh, severe weather down in the south today. It moved all the way across into the Carolinas and out to sea. There was some uh, tornado forecasts and weather spouts for that area. I don't think there was any uh, any of that happening. But if uh, anybody knows, if you live in the area, just give us an update on the in the comments and let us know what happened in your area, whether it be in the Carolinas or wherever. Okay, uh, that's it. We'll just wrap it up and uh, we'll leave it right uh, right here. Showing that uh, WSR88D in uh, Chico, California, helping to maintain the drought conditions. All right, that's it.